Buyer beware. All right, we're going to do kind of a story here. It's going to start off a little tangential, but it'll make sense later. I promise. Uh, I am a Magic the Gathering player. Not as much as I used to be, but I still play. And my wife was watching YouTube the other day. Uh, I think it was about a week or two ago, actually. And she pulled up a video by MTG Goldfish where he had purchased a, a bulk lot of magic cards from Goodwill, specifically shopgoodwill.com. And uh, she watched one or two of those, and she got interested and went to the website because uh, she likes Pokemon cards. So she was looking at lots of Pokemon cards. And she also looked at some Legos and showed me, and I was like, oh, sure, I'll check it out. So... Um, I decided to do that, and I've never really done auctions at all. Um, never really done. Literally had never done any auctions before. If anything I go on eBay for, I just purchase it. Because um, I don't want to deal with that. Um, and I already kind of had an idea of how it would go. Uh, so the first couple things that I bid on, it basically got to the last five seconds, and the price almost doubles. And it's like, oh, nope, don't like that. Not going to do that. Uh, and then I find myself going back the next day and looking at some more stuff and bidding on a few things. And then I didn't get anything. Uh, I missed a couple things by about a dollar in the very last second uh, until I saw one that it's actually going to show up tomorrow. And I won that simply because I was the only person bidding on it. Which is weird because uh, they had a couple other listings with the same item that multiple people had bid on. Um, I think it's probably because the one I bid on was open and partially assembled. Um, but I don't think that's a real issue. Most of the parts are there. Seemed fine. Uh, so I got it for 15 bucks plus like 15 in shipping. So I think I paid $29 for like a $70. $70 or $80 retail set. Great. Uh, and then I won this one at the last minute by about a dollar. Uh, I paid about 80-ish. This is the, uh, I'm sure you saw it earlier. This is the Heavy Walker, which I don't really care about the sequel at all. I, don't get me started on it. Uh, so I never got this set. Plus it was a little overpriced. Um, the box was open. I already knew that because the picture showed, you know, loose bags. And I was operating under the assumption that, you know, someone probably pulled all the minifigures out here. But in the pictures, you can see there were figures in the bag. And it's like, okay. And then the listing said 11 bags. I didn't know how many bags were in this set. So I was like, okay, that's a good sign. There, all the bags are sealed, stuff like that. And uh, I won an auction. I paid less than 100 bucks for this, which is fine because on Bricklink, this set goes for, if you want it with everything, the minifigures, the instructions, and the box, it starts at above 100 bucks. So I was like, eh, this is a great deal. Uh, so we get this and we open it up, and my wife is like, okay, we're going to film opening this box, which I suggest if you get it, anything from not a retail place, film yourself opening the boxes, just in case. So that's a good lesson to have. Um, so we open it up and we're missing bag one. So we got two through nine is okay, but then there's all these other things. The first things we notice is uh, this bag here, and this looks like large versions of the Lego tank tread. So it was like, I wasn't too thrown off by it. And then we saw these. These are not Legos. These are connects. And while I do have some connects from when I was a kid, I was not expecting to get connects in a Lego box. And you can see with, with that, it's the same as that kind of so i'm pretty sure this is also connects and that makes the 11 bags that were listed 
Uh, and then I looked up the parts, and apparently in the first bag of this set has most of the minifigures in it. So this, at some point, was purchased. Bag one was removed. I also don't have the instructions. Bag one was removed. Connects bags were put into it, which leads me to believe this box was resealed and returned to the retail store it was purchased from. And then at some point, I'm spitballing here, somebody bought the set from that store, opened it up, and realized box one, bag one is missing. And there's some random ass things in here. And then they sent it to Goodwill because, hey, nobody's going to buy an incomplete thing. Um, so I'm going to have to buy some uh, replacement parts before I can even start putting this together. And, you know, I'm not shocked at all. I'm just disappointed in people because who does this? Also, if you go on BrickLink and you look up a, a set that you want and it says... Just the set, no figures, no box, no instructions. It's because that person is flipping it because they pulled the minifigures out to sell them individually, which kind of leaves a bad taste in my mouth about uh, Lego. Because that's just greedy. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Anyways, moral of the story, guys. If it's an open box at an auction, Make sure you check as many details as you can. Don't pay, bid more than retail or whatever you can get it for on the third market. Uh, second, secondary market? Yeah, secondary market, which I didn't. Uh, yay. Um, don't shop at good shop. God, do not buy things on auction from shopgoodwill.com unless you know exactly what you're getting or if it's sealed. But if it is sealed, you're probably going to pay way too much for it. And third, people are poop. People do stuff like this. Always check your stuff. Most importantly, always film opening your purchases. If you don't trust the source completely. If you buy from Lego directly, fantastic. Good job. If you buy directly from one of the retail stores, most of the time you're fine. I have heard stories about people getting stuff from Target or Walmart and they open it up and it's a bunch of like magnets and Duplo and action figures and just, I think somebody said there was rocks in one of them because people are, are, for lack of a better word, assholes who will purchase a set, take everything out, repackage it with crap and return it to get their free set. Anyway... This is going to be put on the back burner until I get bag one in, and then I'll eventually build this. I am rambling. See you guys later.